What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Old School Review, the series where I review skateboarding videos from the past that inspired me. This week I got three submissions for Ninja Review and two of them we're vertical footage, so I've completely lost faith in humanity. Today, we're just going to skim through this video. If you want to watch it on your own time, high quality skate videos. Let's find Brandon Turner's part and play right in the middle. There's a lot of weird cutscenes in this, which if you have uh, epilepsy, you're going to die. I always thought that table would be a really cool thing to skate as a kid, although today I'd probably die. Already, um, I'd like to see more skateboarding, but definitely if you've never seen this video, it's kind of a must watch. Came out in 2001. I didn't really care for the skits, but as far as like the raw skateboarding, really good. I always thought as a kid that Brandon Turner uh, mirrored this footage because at this point I had only been skating for one year. I was like skeptical that anyone could be that good at skating Switch. Um, it's one of those things where also, when I first started skating, I didn't know what Nollie was and what Switch was, and when I did find out, I was just mind blown that anyone could ever be that good. Nollie flip nose slide right there. A lot of really, I don't know, uh, diverse skating in this video. We get the big stairs, we get uh, Chad Muska jumping down the giant hubbas, you got Sammy Baptista doing the, uh, the ledges. Right here, Switch hard flip down Carlsbad. If you'll remember, I think Brandon Turner got trick of the year doing this trick 20 years later down Carlsbad. Let's fast forward, Steve Olsen. I always thought this part was really boring. Although the, the last trick is really good. I don't know if we're at the end of the part or the beginning, but I know he does this crazy board slide. Let's see if we can find it right here. This, look how dented and bent the rail is in the middle. That's nuts. And the part as a whole, I was not impressed, but to look at this, trick that's the type of rail you look at and you go ah it's too bent and dented up no one's ever gonna skate that fast forwarding sky tone really really great part uh every skater kind of began with a skit and i remember his was him like shitting his pants i remember seeing this uh back in the day at the grocery store they used to have skate magazines at the grocery store the world's changed a lot no more skate magazines at the grocery store at least not at my grocery store fast forward some more this might be a pretty quick episode. Oh, this is uh, Peter Smolik. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like half a uh, music video. There's one part where a guy like smacks the heads off of two mannequin clowns. I think that's the most me <laughs> that's the most memorable. <laughs> Why are you dropping the bread? Oh man, I always used to look at this uh, spot and be so jealous that anyone could skate such a perfect spot. You get the nice, nice ground, cool background. You get the roof on the top. I wonder what happened to that. This ledge, great, dude. This is going to be a really uh, quick episode. Um, the switch no slide. Uh, um, who was it that Nolly Flip no slid that? In, uh, in Bloom also had braids. I always wonder if that was somehow related. Federal is coming soon. I wonder if it ever came soon. What are they watching right now? It's not sports. <laughs> Everyone just freaks out. This part's really good. It's, uh, I don't know if it holds up because it's it's something that nowadays, like, it's it's fun to laugh at. But when it came out, I was like, oh, cool, dude. Like, hip-hop video and skating? No way. <laughs> now it now it's funny. <laughs> what's, what's going on? I hope we can see the clown part. I would have uh, skipped this already, but I just, I'm hoping that we get to see the, the part where he hits the clowns. If not, then uh, you guys, you guys go back and watch it. I promise. It's uh, worth the watch. Fast forward, what do we got? Chad Muska, dude. I remember as a kid, Chad Muska was so popular that it was one of those things where it's like, ah, he's too popular. Like, he, he was too cool to like. Now that I go back and watch this part, it's so good. He's doing humongous, like, hubbas and rails. He's doing these rails that don't even barely look skatable. Eventually, we'll see one. He, he grinds down a rail, the steepest fucking rail ever. That hubba was, like, made of wood. But uh, the music here, this was Muska Beats. You could buy a CD that had beats that he made, and I don't know if they were good or bad. Look how crazy that rail is. 
But I remember the music in this part is uh, laughably bad. It sounds like clown music. It's like, like just quacking and honking. Was never a fan. But the tricks, like as a kid, I always thought the tricks like, oh, no slide, that's gonna be easy. But uh, no one, no one no slid it before him. And a lot of these, a lot of these rails are fucking crazy, dude. I also remember uh, back in the day, I was like, all he ever does is nose slides and tail slides. And I guess, like, to an extent, that's true. But he's doing them down humongous, like, unthinkably big rails, especially for the time. I know nowadays, you know, all these tricks Nigel would nollie into or somebody would kickflip into. But back in 2001, these rails were crazy. It's, it's interesting that I never respected it. It's funny, like, you know, you're younger, like, oh, this guy's too cool, but I liked Eric Costin. Eric Costin was equally as popular because of Tony Hawk Pro Skater and and just being a, a good skater, but I was more like, oh, Costin's cooler than this guy, dude. It's weird that, uh, that, like, that, that it can, it, like, influence you. I don't know how to, how to explain it. Like, you look around to your right and your left, and you're like, is this cool? Is this cool? Okay, it's cool. Or if they say no, it's like, oh, yeah, I knew that. It's one of those things where, uh, I don't know, I think that's probably today why these kids are dressing, you know, they have their little skateboarding outfit that they must wear. You know, they have to wear the, like, the, 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 the pants that are above the socks, and you have to wear a certain type of shirt, and you have to wear a beanie, and if you're not wearing a beanie, your hair has to be slicked back. It's like, you have to follow all the rules. Terrible rocket flip, but I, I feel like that's probably why I thought Chad Muska sucked back in the day. Um, I guess, you know, we don't have to watch the whole thing. That's the last part. Let's, uh, let's find the last trick, see if it's impressive or not. I think he does a giant tail slide, which I always thought was, oh, that's kind of sloppy. Like, his back wheel came up, but then you look at it, like, that's a pretty, that's a pretty hefty tail slide. The end. That's all we're going to watch today. I encourage you guys to check out this video if you've never seen it. A lot of historic tricks were done in this video. Muska, Brandon Turner and some other parts that we skipped over. The ledge guy, we didn't even watch his part. He was like the master of switch back in the day. Sammy Baptista, no, but I think he does like a, oh, here we go. I think he does switch flip front blunt. I might be messing that up. Go back, check it out. Shorty's Guilty, 2001. One of the few videos that I think really holds up today. Although some of the theatrics and skits, they don't really hold up at all. Or at least go back and watch Peter Smollick's part so you can laugh at it. Even though as a kid I took it serious and thought it was like super fucking gnarly. Um, I guess that's it. If you would like to submit your footage to me for the other series we do, Ninja Review, and you don't want to like make it ver like just follow the instructions, okay? Go watch an older episode of Ninja Review and I explain in great detail how to send your footage to me. I also this week got someone try to send me a Dropbox. Uh, of the file of their part. I don't know what part of send me a YouTube link is confusing, but I'm clearly I'm confusing a lot of people out there and I don't understand why. I think the world's just getting dumber. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Kuna Matata, bitches. In the arms of